Hi, Cheryl. And just touching quickly on the testing issues from the Virginia Department of Health. I just got off a press conference call that they're holding and they say those issues persist and they will, of course, update those numbers when they become available. And regarding today's news conference with the governor, it of course is his first one since Monday when he announced that he is extending Executive Order 53 uh, that has closed many businesses and banned social gatherings of 10 or more people, but at the same time expressed hope that the reopening of Virginia could begin next Friday, May 15th. So right now that executive order was extended until Thursday night, May 14th. And he says that reopening could begin on the 15th if the health data continues to trend in the proper direction. That thing is things like adequate hospital capacity, supply of personal protective equipment and a 14 day decline of hospitalizations and the percentage of positive cases. Now, in terms of what phase one might look like, he gave a broad overview on Monday saying it would allow businesses to reopen with restrictions, giving an example of restaurants not operating at full capacity. And he said that they will be issuing specific guidelines for different industries on how that will go out. It also means there will still be restrictions in place, such as social distancing, teleworking, and people wearing face masks in uh, public. Now, while this is going on, there's also another scheduled protest for these COVID-19 restrictions and calling for a reopening. This one running from one to three, asking people to drive around the state capitol, honking on their horns. One of the people calling for this is Republican state senator and gubernatorial candidate Senator Amanda Chase who posted this morning on Facebook that she wants to encourage people to come out to tell the governor to, quote, turn his May safely reopen Virginia to definitely reopen Virginia on May 15th, end quote. We're with the state capitol, Kevin Thompson, CBS 6 News.